Hi, this is Al at Help for Android, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your Gmail account and your normal email accounts. So to begin, I want to show you the two different applications that you will use. Uh, the Gmail account is the one that has the red M uh, here that you can see on your desktop. The other application is the one that has the yellow um, like letter inside an envelope here that just says email. So to begin, let's set up our Gmail account. For Gmail, um, you basically are going to set up an account uh, with Google and this is important um, at the beginning when you first use your tablet you want to set up an account with Google because that allows you to download applications from the market if you don't have a Gmail account you won't be able to download applications so let's go ahead and type in our account name that we set up at the beginning and type in a password and sign in and if you want to um, keep things such as your applications backed up with your Google account you'll want to have this box checked over here and now we're in to our Gmail. Gmail, uh, the Gmail application works very well. You can uh, select between different uh, folders over here. What, uh, for example, um, items that you sent, inbox, they have what's called a priority inbox, which uh, allows you to take your most common uh, email and the ones that you say are important to you and show you those particular emails. Now, um, we're going to go and set up the other email accounts now. And to do that, we need to go back into your applications drawer and tap on the email here. Now, with Gmail, you're working directly with Google. This email account um, will handle other emails like your normal email. For example, if you have a Yahoo or Hotmail account. So, for example, let's set up um, our Yahoo account. And this was a account that I set up previously. And um, with this, you, you can hope that Google will be able to figure out what your um, email server's names are. In this case, with Yahoo, it was just fine. And you'll come up with a name for your account. We'll call this, for example, Yahoo. and and then we're done now one of the things that you may have to set up let's go ahead and cancel this account um, we want to uh, delete this account and I just want to show you I won't be able to give you the specifics on this because um, this varies from email provider to email provider but now we're going to get out and we're back to the main screen because I just deleted it and there were no other um, email accounts um, on this tablet 
So if we were trying to get in, um, you may have to call your provider to get this information or look on the web. Um, so let's go ahead and try this again. We're going to set up an account slightly differently. Again, we're going to say at yahoo.com. This is something that you would do if the tablet does not automatically figure out what your settings are. This, if you, before we hit the next button, but if you have to do things manually where the tablet cannot figure things out, you hit this manual setup button. And then you'll have the options of setting up a POP3 or IMAP account or exchange. Now, if you go with the POP3, for example, what it'll do is it will automatically fill your username, password, and what it says here is a POP3 server. You're going to need to find out from your email provider what their POP3 uh, server uh, name is and you will type that in this information here. Um, then you also have security type. Uh, it's common to have what's called an SSL or TLS security type so that your email when you send it out is encrypted. You'll need to find out what your uh, email providers settings are for that and then there's a port number that you have to enter as well now um, there's a similar thing um, for your email for um, your SMTP out server so just so that you can see the settings that are actually used by Yahoo let's um, let's go back and try this again I'll show you the actual values so I'm gonna go let the I'm gonna let the tablet automatically set things up and then whoops Okay, so we'll set things up like we did before. But then we're going to go into the um, settings specific to the account so that you'll have an opportunity to see what things will look like that you have to look for on your particular uh, email provider. So we'll go to account settings and the incoming settings in this case um, as I said there's usually like a POP3 or an IMAP setting and if you see here it has your username password in this case with Yahoo it has an IMAP server an SSL security type to encrypt your uh, messages when they go to Yahoo and port 993 is used for that IMAP server for your um, I'm sorry when I'm saying incoming uh, email messages for outgoing you have your um, uh, SMTP server which is listed up here SSL again to encrypt the data as it goes out to Yahoo and then a different port number and then it, you'll also have to hit this require sign in Anyways, this information is um, something that you need to get from your email provider and I will uh, put some tips at the bottom of, the, of, of this video on what you should search for um, to help you get this information if the Google tablet cannot figure it out on its own. And um, as I said before, you'll also have the capability to see your emails. Um, you've got your inbox sent, um, draft messages and such on the side. Now, one other thing to keep in mind is um, 
that just like many other things on the Google tablet, if you do a press and hold on items, you'll end up with a context, next, uh, context menu similar to a right mouse button click um, in Windows. So for example, if we wanted to uh, look at what special menu options are available for a particular message, we can either, for example, just open up a message just by tapping it here, but if we do a press and hold on an email message, we have options to um, star it, delete it, and so on. And also, this also works in Gmail as well. You have um, things like uh, mark it as unread, um, delete it, star it, and so on. You'll see the context menu pops up and how things change up on the top over here. Press and hold is a very useful thing to remember when using an, an Android tablet. Anyways, that's it for email and um, I'll add some additional details in the description below this message to help you set up uh, your email if I wasn't able to cover it in this video itself. Thanks. Again, this is Al, Hel Al at Help for Android, and if you have any questions or suggestions, be sure to leave them on the website. Thank you very much. Have a good day.